In this video, we are going to talk about a very important aspect or a very important term which is very commonly used in Google Analytics and that is UTM. So we will take a look at what UTM is, how it is used in Google Analytics and how we can use it to track traffic on our website. So we will find out all that in this video. Hi, my name is Ankit and welcome to Magazine 3 YouTube channel where we talk about everything related to WordPress. And if you want to learn more about this, then make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload our next video. So we know that Google Analytics shows us data about the traffic which is coming on our website. But the question is how we will know that where is actually our traffic is coming from or if we are doing any paid marketing or if we are doing any backlinking or any promotion from our end. So how we will know that whatever efforts we are putting in to get the traffic on our website, if it is working or not. And if it is, then how much traffic is actually getting from all the sources that we are building up. So if we take a look at our Google Analytics for our demo store, we can go to this acquisition section and here we have all traffic we have source and medium so if we click on that we can see that we have the source or medium as google cpc which is actually the paid ads and we also have some uh, other sources as well like affiliate partners or not set or even we have a source of direct as well. So if we go on this direct, we see that there is a lot of traffic coming from this uh, direct source or medium, but we don't know where it is actually coming from. If it is coming from our newsletter, if it is coming from any link that we got from any XYZ website. So if we go ahead and check this secondary metrics and we type in landing page, we can see that we have the direct traffic which is mostly coming on our home page. Then we have various other pages which are getting the direct traffic. Now as we see that it's not just the home page, there are various other pages in a lot of quantity that is getting visitors directly. So we can never say that direct traffic is only for because our brand is now known and very popular. So, so people are just directly typing the website URL and then they are coming on our website. So this data with different landing pages clearly shows that it's not the case. No one is going to type this long URL with special characters like plus in between to land on that direct page. So it means that there is some source where people are visiting this page directly, but it is not getting tracked in Google Analytics. And for that same reason, to make this tracking a little bit better, we use UTM parameters. So no matter you are doing any paid advertisement or you are doing different backlinking or maybe different organic ways to get traffic to your website, but it's very important to understand where exactly this traffic is coming from so that you will know that which platforms are bringing more traffic to you and which are the other platforms which you might need to look closely to make some improvements. So if we talk about the definition of UTM, it's actually the parameters that we add in our website URL to track the traffic source that is getting traffic to our website. So it could be a newsletter, it could be a paid advertisement or it could be a link on your newsletter, maybe a paid advertisement campaign or even on your social media. So wherever you are posting your links, if you are using UTM parameters correctly, you will be able to easily track where your website visitor is coming from. But it's not gonna work for the direct traffic or I should say the actual direct traffic which is typing your website name or direct URL in the browser and then visiting your website page. So let's talk about the type of parameters that we have in UTM. So in UTM, we have five parameters which are known as source, medium, campaign, content and term. And all of these five parameters are denoted by a prefix that is UTM underscore and then the term. 
So it will be like UTM underscore source, UTM underscore medium, UTM underscore campaign or UTM underscore content or UTM underscore term. So with all these parameters in our URL, we will be able to track where the website visitor is coming from. So let's see how it looks and how actually it works in a practical scenario. So I'm sure you must have seen these kind of URLs when you click on any of the link, maybe from social media or from newsletter or maybe from any Google ad, you will get a URL like this with a basic URL of HTTP, www, website name. And after the URL, you mostly see this uh, alien looking characters that are making the URL so big. So if you look closely, then you have all the UTM parameters here. So for this example, the URL is yourwebsite.com forward slash the page.php. That is the exact page where we want our visitor to go or this is the URL the visitor is visiting. And after this URL, we have a question mark. And with that, we have along with that, we have UTM underscore source as YouTube. So the traffic is coming from YouTube. After that, we have UTM underscore medium equals to organic and after that we have utm campaign and we also have utm content so for this particular url we have utm source as youtube which is clearly shown here we have utm medium as organic because we are just putting this url maybe in our youtube video description to check which videos are performing good in terms of getting the traffic so this is the medium as organic so we can name it as anything after that we have utm campaign as general so we are not promoting it so just naming it as general after that we have utm content that is channel page so you can do the naming as per your convenience and the utm term is actually blank because we are not targeting any keyword here we are not doing any paid marketing or paid ad so what could be the scenario if we are doing any paid advertisement so for that utm parameters will be a little bit different for example, if we are running a Google search campaign or Google PPC ad, so it will look something like this. UTM source will be Google, of course. UTM medium, we will name it as CPC. And the campaign will be like if we are promoting this video playlist of our Google Analytics for beginners, we can name it as Google Analytics underscore series or maybe G underscore series to make it short. After that, we have UTM content. So if I go ahead and make an ad and name it as benefits, so that will be the content. And if I use the term, so let's say if I am targeting the keywords like Google Analytics series, so or maybe Google Analytics for beginners, that could be another keyword. So that will go in UTM terms. So once that all is defined, the URL will become like this source will be google utm medium will be cpc campaign will be benefits content will be google plus analytics plus series which is our keyword here so like we just saw the example of youtube if in case you are doing organic marketing and trying to promote your links on different facebook groups and you want to know which group is actually performing well which is actually giving you more traffic so you can do the same with facebook groups as well you just have to create a unique link with these utm parameters and it will look something like this so in source we will of course use facebook medium will be groups so uh, campaign will be can be named as group name where you are about to post this link which you are creating and utm content will be your post title or any name which can identify your post so you will know that for this group you are posting this particular link and then it will give you a very precise data that this link that you have posted in a particular group is giving you this much amount of traffic in google analytics so the link will be so once we input all these parameters the link will look like this so the only thing missing here is the utm term because we are not targeting any particular keyword
Now, in order to build this complete URL with all these UTM parameters, you don't have to remember everything. Thankfully, there is an online tool which you can use to create a complete URL with all these UTM parameters. So you can just search for campaign URL builder and this is the first link. So this is the website you can use to create your website URL with all the UTM parameters. So for example, let's type in the website address as maybe example.com. So you can choose whatever your website is. And here, this is the mandatory field campaign source. So we will be typing uh, maybe if in case you are trying to capture the traffic for your newsletter campaign. So let's say we type in source as newsletter. So in the campaign medium, we will select the news subs. So all the subscribers of the newsletter will be um, covered under this campaign. And the campaign name, let's say we type in first week November. So this newsletter will be out on the first week of November. So considering that this is just a weekly newsletter. So we will be tracking the traffic for the first week of November newsletter. And these are actually uh, the mandatory fields. Other than that, you can uh, leave all the things blank. So in terms of campaign terms, so these are the keywords. For example, if we are doing this for Google ads, so you can type in the keyword here, like we have just seen in the previous examples in newsletter, there is not required to put any keyword here. Same goes with the campaign content. So that's uh, once again, they are not mandatory fields. So, so these are the four mandatory fields. And once we are done with this, we can see that our URL with UTM parameters is available here. We can just copy that. And let's paste that in this uh, notepad. And here we can see that UTM source is newsletter. UTM medium is news subs. And the campaign is first week of November. And that will be good enough to track all our traffic, which will be coming from the newsletter, which will be out in the first week of November. So once you generate this URL, make sure you go ahead and try this um, URL in the browser. So of course, this example.com is not my domain. So that's why it's showing this message. So the idea is that once you enter the URL in the browser, just make sure that it's not getting redirected to any page. We need these uh, UTM parameters in the URL so that we can capture that in Google Analytics. So if the website is redirecting to home page or any other page, then this might not get captured in Google Analytics. So whenever you generate any URL, make sure you try that once in a browser and see if all the parameters are showing perfectly fine. So this is how we can use UTM parameters to track all the visitors that are coming on our website and we will be able to know what are the traffic sources that are working good for us. And if in case we are using any backlinking or doing any paid marketing or maybe for organic SEO as well, now we will be able to know that where our visitors are coming from. So if you like this video, then make sure you hit the like button. And if you want to watch more videos related to Google Analytics, then make sure you check our complete playlist google analytics for beginners the link is in the i button above and the video description below and if you don't want to miss the next video in this series then make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload our next video so that's it for this one and i'll see you in the next one